You know, they were actually hoping to get this work done by Thursday, but MDOT says a few things simply fell into place and they were able to reopen this portion of the interstate much earlier. It was a welcome surprise on I-20 westbound when construction crews announced they had finished their bridge refinishing project ahead of schedule. For the past five days, the major section of I-20 had been off limits, forcing motorists to detour onto Highway 80 or avoid the area altogether. It absolutely has. It's been a major closure. Uh, I've been in it about 10 years. I've never heard of a closure this big. It was a major repair job. Crews were using high pressure water hoses to blast away the remaining concrete deck on the bridge crossing the Lynch Creek. The work was expected to last into Thursday morning, but the new concrete replacement work settled faster than expected. Once we once we pour the deck, it's just a matter of seeing how long it takes to form. And, uh, you know, with the cooler temperatures, it could, you know, it, it was supposed to take a little longer than we expected. Each section of the heavily traveled thoroughfare were shut down to repair the Bally Decane Bridge. The work expected to expand the life of this bridgeway for the next 50 years. The price tag on this repair job is more than $2 million. Now, MDOT's still working on the I-55 expansion right there at I-220. That work is expected to be done by this summer. Live in Jackson, Scott 716, WAPT News.